a story, a fantastically true story, from the files of Herbert A. Philbrick, who for nine frightening years did lead three lives. Citizen, communist, counter-spy. And who has now revealed for the first time his secret files concerning not only his own activities, but also the current activities of other counter-espionage agents. For obvious reasons, the names, dates, and places have been changed, but the story is based on fact. This week, Herbert Philbrick brings you the story of a counter-spy whose own safety was endangered when he learned too much about an aspiring communist. I try never to go where I'm expected, Comrade Dover. We don't have much time, so I'll explain quickly why I sent for you tonight. A man is being considered for admission into the party. It's our assignment to find out whether it's safe to take him. Is it ever safe? I've seen it too many times, newly admitted members betraying the party. The procedure outlined in the party manual on organization is designed to prevent just that. The candidate will be thoroughly screened and tested, examined and cross-examined. And then what? We may still have a traitor. Yeah, but we need new members, Cole. Too many of the old comrades have defected. If we're to be ready to take over when the time comes, we've got to have every member we can get. I know we need new members, but we're no longer a political party open to anyone. We're an underground army under attack. These recruits, they've got to be tough and reliable, with a devotion to party principles unclouded by bourgeois ethics or morality. How about this man? You find out. Copies of the party's dossier on Stephen Burke, candidate for membership. You're to study this material, both of you, and give me evaluations. And remember, you're not to recommend his acceptance unless you're convinced he'll do anything for our cause. Mm -hmm. Have you got a picture of him? You won't need a picture, that's Burke. This is a transparent mirror. You can see through it from the other side. I've had instructions to commend you on the work you've been doing for us. Well, thank you, Comrade Edna. The jobs we've given you may not have seemed important, but they were very necessary. As I see it, everything that helps our cause is important. A new face to remember, Philbrick. Steve Burke, Red Recruit. Your next job. Fine. That's all. Edna, I've been associated with party work for five years now. How close am I to actual membership? I don't really know, but I can tell you this much. Make certain nothing happens within the next few weeks to mar your record. Thank you. I can assure you, nothing will. Did you get a good look at him? Sure did. Trail him tomorrow. Find out how well he carries out his instructions. His address is in your dossier. Any questions? No questions. Good night, comrade. Well, what do you think of him? Looks pretty tough. Might be just what the party needs right now. I hope you're right. But remember, no matter what's in this, there's a lot of difference between belonging to a lot of fronts and belonging to the party proper. Let's not make any mistakes. Huh. You've got to study this stuff for two people. You and Dressler of the FBI. Interesting. Good. I'll check our files on this, Burke. I'm sure we have some material on him. Oh, this character's been a member of every front in the area. He's manned posters at every commie demonstration, served time as a member of the goon squad, worked over with his bare knuckles, uh, young commies that got out of line on their ideologies. The works. No doubt he's good or they wouldn't even consider him. They need new recruits very badly, but at the same time, they're being very careful. Just a word from me, and I can keep this guy from ever being a communist. Now, you'd better play it straight with the party this time, Herb. Only keep me informed. So long, Herb. It's 
see it. No, but you're late. I know, I had to drop by the office first. Your office. You worry too much about your office. Look, until the party takes over, I've got to make my living where I can find it. I work too, comrade, but only to live. When the party gains power, we'll see who gets a greater reward. You with your capitalist career, or me. Okay, okay, I'm not worried. I'll match my record against yours any day. You missed his wife. She left to work ten minutes ago. What's she look like? Oh, matches the description in the dossier. Pretty. Too bad for Burke she has no party affiliations. He seems to have done all right anyway. It's too hard to keep secrets from your wife. That's why I don't have one any longer. They're too nosy. There he comes now. Now you better get in. delivering pamphlets this time. Looks like the bite for back dues from one of the inactive members. It's hard to get in, Philbrick, but you can never get out. Does quite a job, doesn't he? Let's go, comrade. you to come here without Comrade Cole so I could get independent reports and then compare your findings. Well, here's the report on Burke so far. Looks like he's going to become a real ardent communist. But there's several aspects of his life I haven't been able to go into yet. For instance, I don't know what his religious beliefs are. I don't know what his relationship with his wife is or with his mother. I do know he corresponds with her frequently. I don't know what books he reads and his general psychological stability. I'm glad to see you're being so careful, even with a man of Burke's apparent assets. The next step is to get into his apartment. I had this made several weeks ago. Oh, that shouldn't be difficult in as much as both he and his wife work. Examine his desk particularly. Try to get a bank statement and see if he keeps a safe. Check on what he considers his most valuable possessions. Yeah. Okay. And comrade, hmm? let me warn you. Burke sometimes carries a gun. He doesn't know you're a party man, so we'd hate to lose a trusted old member getting a new one. Okay, thanks for the tip. Better set up a meeting with Dressler. Time for another report on Steve Burke. Here's a list of all the places Burke visited on his rounds yesterday. Well, I recognize most of these addresses. Maybe one or two new ones. He works at Sentinel Aircraft. That's a bad place for a commie. Yeah, we've had him spotted there for a long time. According to our files, he works in a non-sensitive department. We've asked the company not to fire him on the chance that he may lead us to other comrades who may work there. Yeah. Well, I may pick up something along that line when I get into his apartment. Well, anything you can get us will help. Now, there's one other thing we had in the files about Burke. What's that? He's dangerous. This is record, this is the playback, and this is rewind, and this is stop. If this machine is set at slow, it can pick up several hours of conversation. What do you want me to do with it? Get it into Burke's apartment. If we don't get anything else, we'll at least learn a good deal more about his relationship with his wife. I'm in favor of that. From what Burke tells us, he has her under control, and may even in the future bring her around to our cause. 
Do you believe him? Philbrick did it with his wife. In any event, this should tell us a good deal about them. Try to get it set up just before they arrive home. You have a key. Naturally. Does Philbrick know about this? He does not. You and he are now working independently. But won't we interfere with one another in Burke's apartment? I don't see why. You won't arrive at Burke's apartment until late this afternoon. Philbrick should have already been there. I see. You wonder who has the key to your house. You feel like a gangster, Philbrick, but it's all in a day's work for a good commie. Somebody beat you to it. Could be the party had someone else come here before you. Better check. be late, Steve, but my boss had work for me to do and didn't particularly like the idea of my meeting you for lunch. Was it you who forced the lock on my desk? Yes. Why? I'm sorry. I had to know what was inside. Why didn't you ask me? Would you have given me honest answers? Yes. I can't believe you. If you don't trust me and can't believe me, why'd you ask me to meet you here to talk? Because I wanted to give you one more chance before I left you. Left me? I hate communism, and I can't go on living with a communist. I'm not a communist. Oh, Steve, stop lying to me. I found papers in your pockets. I've seen your pamphlets. I've heard you on the telephone, and I've seen the things you keep in your desk. I can't explain. You've got to trust me. Oh, I wish I could. I still love you, Steve. If only you'd confide in me. Tell me how you got mixed up in all this, what it really means to you. Tell me what you're going to do. I can't. Is that all you're going to say? It's all I can say. Goodbye, Steve. Louise. I'm not coming back. Where are you going? Away. After I report you to the authorities like any other traitor. Like any other communist. Look, Louise, maybe I haven't given you the right answers, but give me another try at it and I'll do better. Well, I'm waiting. Not now. Come home tonight, we'll talk. Why not now? It has to be tonight. All right. I'll drop in. Not to stay.
she weren't coming back. Wife or no wife, a dedicated commie will go to any ends to protect his secret. Louise Burke is in personal danger. You better stick with her husband. you've never seen, commies who do special jobs. Don't ask any questions, sir. Pull down to the next corner and turn left. This is Special Agent Jack Shea. Pleased to meet you, Herb. Special Agent? I don't get it. Jack is with the Bureau. Well, then, what's he doing with a commie like Steve Burke? Burke's no commie. Well, of course he's a commie. You've got his record on file. You warned me against him. Steve Burke, Herb, has been working with Shea for over two years. Oh, great. Why'd you let a fella know? Why'd you let me stick my neck out? Well, I'm sorry, Herb. I would like to have told you, but I couldn't. It would have been against all our policies. If you didn't know about Steve Burke, you couldn't give him away, no matter what they did to you. If Burke doesn't know about you, he can't give you away. The only reason we're telling you now is we saw you spot the contact. We figured you might report it to your superiors. Uh, we know it's been rough on you, Herb, but you understand our position, don't you? Yeah, sure. Sorry I got annoyed. It's all right, you're entitled to it. We figure that Burke's going to be a valuable operator if he gets into the party. How does he stand? He's in good shape so far, but the investigation isn't over yet. We're counting on you to help him. He's worked hard to get into the party. We don't want anything to happen to him now. There's one thing that could stop him unless we handle it just right. What's that, Herb? His wife. She's threatened to report him unless he can convince her that he's not a commie. That's why he contacted me today. We've investigated his wife thoroughly. I've given him permission to tell her everything, just as you've done with your wife. He's going to tell her this evening. Did you notice the man in the hall, the one with the pipe? What about him? Well, I thought I'd seen him someplace before. How about you? I don't know him. Steve, I could hardly wait for this evening to come. I don't want to have to leave you, Steve. I've been praying to myself all day long that you'd be able to tell me something that would make me change my mind. I think I can, darling. I honestly think I can. Steve. Sit down. It's a long story. I've been working for the FBI. Oh, Steve, I'm so happy. It's been a long, long time since I felt like celebrating. And we'll do it right, too. <laughs> They're coming out. Come on, let's go. Wait a minute. We're gonna follow them, aren't we? Not this time. 
Let's check the apartment again. Both you and I have been through it. I think you'll find there's something new there now. Let it go. Come on. Anything new, comrade? Yeah. How about this wire recorder? It all ran through. How long's that been in here? All evening. Well, what do you expect to gain by it? There was only his wife here. You know what we expect to gain by it, comrade. And it's all on this wire. You bet you know what they can gain, Philbrick. Bert telling his wife that he's working for the FBI. What are you doing? Turn on those lights. Use your head, comrade. The lights were out when we came in here. We don't know where the Burks went. For all we know, they're down in the street now. They might see a light in the window and come up here with a cop. Yeah, but I, I gotta call Edna. How, how can I see to dial? All right, all right, light a match. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. I got the material. It worked out fine. Have you played it yet? All right, bring it right back here. I'd like to contact Burke and conclude the investigation. Do you know where I can reach him? No, he went out with his wife. Wait a minute. Here's a number right by the phone. Try this. The Pheasant Restaurant. Both of them looked like they were stepping out. Right. I thought you might be Burke. Did you catch him? Yes, I caught him at the restaurant. He's on his way over. How about the wire recorder? We'll see. It ran through to the end. Did you find anything interesting in his apartment? No, a lot of our literature, nothing very important. Overall, then, you'd recommend his acceptance? I didn't say that. I want to hear what's on this wire. How about you, Philbrick? What do you think about Burke? Uh, I'm not sure. Play it. Let him in. What's happening? Where's your wife? Well, I sent her home like you told me. Who are they? Friends of mine. What's that? It was in your apartment all evening. We're going to play it and then we'll all be friends. That was in my apartment. That's right, and you're just in time to hear it. Play it. Something wrong. I don't understand this. Turn up the volume. There's nothing on the wire. Wait a minute. Didn't you put this in your pocket when we left the apartment? Yeah. Apparently, you touched the erase button while it was in your pocket. You erased everything from the wire. You mean to say we did all this for nothing? Obviously. I'm going to report you for your inefficiency. I'm recommending your immediate acceptance into the Communist Party. You'll receive your membership card at our next meeting. Thank you. I'm honored. I've been waiting for this a long time. Well, we're glad to have you with us. I'm sure you'll do well. Thank you. Good night. Oh boy, it was touch and go there for a minute. The commies had spotted a wire recorder in his apartment. No, no, it's all right. He's in. Yeah, well, somebody turned out the lights and I was able to erase what was on the wire. Uh, yeah, under cover of darkness, so to speak. Yeah, I'll see you. Under cover of darkness. You're learning, Philbrick. It's about time you stole a page right out of their book. It's about time. Fully 
accepted into the Communist Party, the new counter-spy has provided the FBI with invaluable material. Next week, we'll bring you another story from the files of Herbert A. Philbrick, citizen, communist, counter-spy.